People around the world getting ready to ring in 2019. Here in central Indiana, first responders want you to start off the new year in a fun but safe way. RTV6's Aaron Lynch is working for you with safety tips as you celebrate New Year's Eve. As we ring in the new year, doctors say celebrate responsibly. Um, there's going to be a lot of parties, a lot of get togethers. Um, there will be a lot of people making some bad decisions around you. And so if you're the one um, drinking, acting in moderation is the best way to be. Keep an eye out for your friends. If they have signs of confusion, vomiting, slow breathing, and even becoming unconscious, it may be alcohol poisoning. Contact 911, and as you wait for first responders, there are measures you can take. Uh, either do maneuvers to help with their airway and their breathing, uh, or even just uh, you know put them on their side so that if they are vomiting, that those secretions don't go into the lungs. When you have a drink, think twice about driving. Data shows 48% of driving deaths on the highway on New Year's Eve are alcohol related. Between Lyft, Uber, taxis, and designated drivers, police say there's no excuse. Well, there's no excuse to get behind the wheel when you have consumed uh, too many alcoholic beverages and, and have no uh, business or reason to get behind the wheel of a motor vehicle. Along with over drinking on New Year's Eve, a celebratory gunfire is another issue. The CDC reports when a bullet is fired in the air, it returns at speeds greater than 200 feet per second, a force strong enough to break through a skull and cause serious injury or even death. Those bullets don't have eyes, and I think anybody would be sick if they found out that their New Year's Eve celebration resulted in somebody being injured or worse. As we say goodbye to 2018, just remember to make mature decisions on New Year's Eve. Aaron Lish, RTV6.